It is good to see your faces in the house of God this morning. How many of you know you just walked into an atmosphere charged with the presence of God? We do realize that, right? It has been so awesome and good thus far, and God has yet so much more in store for us. Well, um, I'm going to knock out a few announcements to everyone, and then I'm going to get out of the way, and we're going to continue to worship the Lord together and, and just go deeper into his presence. And before I take a, another step forward, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome any of you, if this happens to be your very first time here. Our ushers have some information about our church that they're holding in their hands, and um, or they will be holding in their hands shortly, and they're going to be ready to give it to you, all right? And so if this is your very first time here, uh, could you please just lift your hand so that our ushers can see you this morning right there, awesome, and over there, us, can we just give our guests a very warm welcome this morning, Jubilee? So blessed to have you here with us this morning, and we know that God has something awesome in store for you, so just make yourself at home. There are also connection cards. They're located in the seat directly in front of you. Please take one of those connection cards out and fill it out in its entirety. At the time of the offering, you can just deposit it then. Again, welcome, and we're so blessed that we have you as our guest this morning. God's got something awesome in store. So um, I want to let everyone know of a couple of things that are coming up and um, the first one is that uh, pertains to tomorrow and so our church office and our academy will be closed on Monday January 21st in observance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day and so also corporate prayer will not be happening tomorrow will not be happening tomorrow because there will be no JCI classes as well and so please make a note of that and um, also I want to draw your attention to the inserts in the bulletin. We have inserts in the bulletin about our awesome dance ministry, and uh, they're awesome. And listen, I'm going to tell you something right now. You know they were in the flow of the Holy Ghost because they had purple and gold flags up here. They had the right colors. They were worshiping with the colors of heaven, all right? And so um, that's how we know that they're just in the flow. So if you want to be a part of a group like that, that knows how to tap into the Holy Ghost and dance and move prophetically, then there's information on that insert there, and you can join an amazing dance ministry. Also, there's an insert in your bulletin this morning about our network meetings and about Jubilee's Freedom Weekends. Please take the time, read that information. It's really good things uh, that are happening here in the house of God, where we just want to push forward in this year with more people being set free and, and delivered and walking in their God-given destiny. Now, last thing is this. How many of you have been blessed by our Jubilee Gospel Choir? They rock, right? It's been really good. Well, they're always looking for new people, okay? And so next Saturday, this coming Saturday, 9.30 a.m., right here at the church, you can come if you want to be a part of the Jubilee Gospel Choir, okay? There's a sign-up sheet located out in the foyer. It is a great way to get connected here in the body of Christ, to get connected here at the church. It's an awesome opportunity, one of the many awesome opportunities that we have here at Jubilee. And so please, if you feel so inclined, take advantage of that. Are you ready to worship the Lord some more this morning? Come on and stand to your feet with me. You know, when you walked in this morning, those of you that were not here for the first meeting, there was such a sweet atmosphere because God is here. Because God is in the room right now. And I know that we're surrounded by people, and I know there, there are all of these things that are happening, but, but I pose a question in the first meeting. What would happen if we all just started acting like God was really in the room? What if we all just started behaving like God was really in the room? In the book of Colossians, the apostle Paul drives the point home where he talks about, and here is the end of the mystery, and it is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And I'm telling you right now, he's here in the room. Come on, can you just close your eyes? Let's just, let's forget about what we're wearing. Let's forget about what time it is. Let's forget about everything else but Jesus. He's here in the room this morning. The spirit of the living God, he is here. He lives on the inside of us and he's moving. Just focus on him. If you want to lift your hands to him, just lift your hands to him. Let's just begin to worship God in the atmosphere. He's here, church. 
What would you say to him if you're face to face with Jesus? What words would begin to well up in your heart? What would you do? How would you behave? Would you lift your hands? Would you dance? Would you begin to rejoice? How would you behave if you come face to face with God? Your Savior, your Lord. The Creator is in the room this morning. The Deliverer is in the room this morning. The Healer is in the room this morning. He's here. Come on, let's just encounter Him today. Let's worship Him together.